after close this machine part you will see setup you can click, click on the setup you, you will find a pop-up window which will contains this kind of things option refresh click on refresh and there is an query button uh, come up double click on it you will uh, get uh, fluent answers which is actually the answers fluent so i will go for a double precision and click ok that will be my fluent so after opening the fluent in the pop-up window the interface of the fluent and uh, under general you see this this kind of option you have already mentioned in all learning slides the pressure raised and uh, uh, velocity formation is absolute and the time is steady there is no gravity so this is okay under the model you can see the multi-phase it is off in energy we are actually open the energy equation so right click on energy equation and click on okay it will actually on the energy and as we have already mentioned the our uh, problem is in laminar by default which is already given as a laminar and there is no radiation no heat exchanger no space so the, all all the things uh, should be in default and, uh, in material section you, you would find uh, some, some materials so there there is something to play around so in fluid port we have uh, some uh, some kind of fluid we have an water so i would go for new and opening um, uh, so I would uh, go for fluent database. So for fluent database, I would go for water. You see the water vapor after liquid. I'd go for water liquid. It will automatically uh, give me this kind of value that I have already given in the same problem. Uh, so I just copy it and paste. It is automatically pasted here. So that's all. And in solid part you would uh, go for the solid so I would go for copper so actually in fluent database there is there is no copper so I would go for copper the third one I would write it down as a copper sorry see if that would be the copper and chemical form it's not so much of important but you can go for CU all the value here but similarly we'll go for uh, the glass for the video making purpose I I'm not going to record this uh, phenomenon so yes do it by yourself as I already told you before how to this value if I click on water liquid you will see uh, the, the value that you can see match with it in the copper you will see what kind of value that I have already put it here and in the glass part you can see it you can okay to rematch it and under the cell zone condition you, you see there is a fluid flow domain double click on it you will find material name i would go for fluid domain obviously i would go for water liquid and okay for glass purpose i would go for the material which should be glass by default it is selected aluminium because ANSYS always go for aluminium so in wall i double click on wall i would see i would select for wall as copper and okay and then and the boundary cell zone condition if you click double click on it you will see the boundary condition in inlet one first of all you inlet one i already told you before that uh, you would go for uh, velocity inlet which is actually 0 0.9 and i will go for 0 0.999 sorry 999 so an initial gauge pressure is zero you know why it is zero and the thermal boundary condition i, uh, I have already mentioned you that it is 293k okay so that's it uh, for our inlet one for inlet two obviously we go for, we go for uh, the same value for inlet two you would go for 0.999 and put it to 93k okay and for outlet one which is already the pressure outer selected the type you can see you can click on edit also you see the momentum which is already at zero kelvin automatically and uh, i go for 923k this is quite a quite easy thing so it's a uh, so very uh, good things i think it is a very interesting thing as well so after completing uh, all 
data that I have put it here in inlet and outlet go wall zone and it is automatically non slave condition. So I will go for heat flux because heat flux should not be given automatically. So you can see the wall zone, the heat flux is selected. I will go for 200000, which is automatically what my matrix score. I will click. After clicking, you will see the material, material obviously the color. So that's it all about our boundary condition. I think that's okay. After doing the boundary condition, you will go for mesh interface. There is nothing to do uh, here. And dynamic mesh, there is nothing obviously and reference value. We don't go for this. Under solution, you go for method. There is nothing to do. You can check it in method as i already mentioned that i would go for second order pressure moment and energy equation a point uh, that is already i have uh, given to you and under monitor you would go for residual i have already mentioned before that i would go for the residual as 1 into 10 to the power minus 6 so i would go for for each value as a continuity equation in as well as uh, x velocity and uh, y velocity 1 into 10 to the power minus 6 and uh, z velocity 1 into 10 to the power minus 6 there's there's a lengthy procedure but quite interesting so there is cell register, there is nothing to do under initialization tab, right? Uh, double click on it. You shouldn't go for hybrid method. I repeat, please don't go for hybrid initialization. Please go for standard initialization. You can go for any values. I would go for uh, inlet, or, or you can select all, all, board, all zone, all zone, computed from all zone, sorry, all zone. So all zone or you can go for an inlet part I'll go for inlet one okay so it is it is normally I think yeah my inlet one is actually in minus z direction that's why it is given minus z direction so I will go for initialize so it will initialize my uh, solution so that's all about my initialization so then I will go for run calculation. After completing this, I will go for run calculation. You see, you can check your case, but this time I would, know, I, I would not go for this. You should go for um, a good iteration. I will go for thousand iteration, then calculate. It will take some time. Our calculation is completed. You know, the, uh, in the interface, there is a message for you guys. Our name of which contains calculation computer. I will click on OK. You the scaled residuals. You see, you, you see the graph. I think you guys are smart enough to understand this uh, graph. You see the number of iteration. Let me drag it down. Okay. You see the number of iteration in the z direction, x direction, and in the y direction. You can see the the residuals that the 10 to the power scale 10 to the power uh, 0 to 10 to the power 2 10 to the power 4 you can see that, that the residuals error is tracing actually which is very good for, for our calculation so and after doing 313 iteration our result is converged which is actually needed which is very much needed for you and if your result don't converge, then it will be a point of concern for you. So that's all of our iteration.